Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. So today we're actually going to take a look at a print that I did a couple of years ago that needs some repair. And I guess the print itself doesn't need repair, but the installation of it does. So this is my power inlet, uh, or my meter uh, base or meter box on the outside of the house. And is fairly common on these residential installs. It looks like the ground must have sunk here uh, because uh, a couple years back, I developed a pretty decent size uh, gap between uh, the, uh, the conduit coming up out of the ground uh, from my power inlet wires or my feed wires uh, and the box. And I printed this TPU piece uh, that is a partial ring because this, uh, the conduit's right up against the, the siding and put this up into place uh, because I don't want this gap here. Uh, I've got a nice roof overhang. This is like, uh, I don't know probably four feet of uh, overhang here. So this stays dry all the time. Uh, but we have, uh, we have paper wasps here. Every, and every year there's a nest somewhere on the property and this is just like a prime spot for them to get into. So I sealed this up. Uh, I noticed it was starting to come down. It probably looked like this for a couple of months and I kind of ignored it. And now it's, uh, it's drooping all the way down here. Uh, I think I use silicone caulk on this and it looks like it's it's still bonded to the TPU really well uh, But it didn't seem to stay bonded to the box. Maybe I didn't clean the box up uh, well enough, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up and let's see if we can better apply this and then I'll still walk through the design On this piece because this is fairly common. In fact, my neighbors looks uh, terrible um, I think his whole box and everything looks like it's pulled down like almost four or five inches um, but uh, let me get these let me get these cans out of the way here and uh, get you in the tripod and let's see if we can get this fixed up. I can see that the caulk is well bonded there in one point. It's not pulling all the way apart. Uh, worth noting this TPU, this is, uh, this is the Sane Smart Gray. It's discolored quite a bit, uh, but it doesn't seem to have lost any of its pliability and none of it's rubbing off with my fingernail. It seems to have just simply discolored. Even if I try and dig my fingernail into the, the corner part there, it doesn't leave a mark, it springs right back. This I really like this stuff for outdoor prints. So let me go get something that I can try and get this caulk cleaned off with um, and then clean off this bottom surface and see if we could just get this glued back up. I might actually just be able to peel it off of there. Yeah, there we go. So when I designed this, I designed this with, uh, it's a little hard to see, but I designed it with a groove up here on the top to hold uh, some of that caulk. Uh, and allow extra surface area for the caulk to adhere to. It doesn't seem like the caulk has adhered all that well to the smooth part of the TPU, which is pretty much what you'd expect. But all of the uh, the little sort of uneven uh, parts here in this groove give it something to grip. All right, I grabbed an angle pick out of my pick set. It is it's interesting just how well uh, that caulk is adhered into this groove down here. It's really it's not stuck to the smooth surface up here at all. But adding that groove really did give this quite a bit of adhesion. Uh, this is, yeah, it's definitely, see it's, you can see it's bonded really well uh, to that rough area uh, down there. Or not, maybe not so much bonded, but just when the caulk set, uh, there was lots of little areas for it to, to grip uh, once it couldn't flow anymore. Uh, I'll often do this in my designs where I'll add a feature like this just for adhesion with other caulk or shoe goo or whatever it is I'm trying to use uh, so that I get good adhesion. If this was just a smooth flat surface, uh, this wouldn't have stayed up here at all. And we could see the uh, what failed was not the caulk to this surface here, but the caulk to this surface up here. I think I probably just didn't clean this well enough. So this is just plain old acetone. Uh, I think I picked this up at, uh, at Lowe's. Make sure it is really acetone and not some sort of acetone substitute for cleaning surfaces like this before you're trying to get good adhesion. And uh, I always wear gloves when I'm using acetone or xylene. It really dries your, your hands out. A little hard to see here, but I also have some ridges on the inside of this print. When I open up the design and share this with you guys uh, in, uh, I think I did this one in SketchUp, uh, I'll be able to show it to you a lot better. But I'm going to get some clear silicone caulk, and uh, we'll get this back into position. All right, I'm going to be very liberal with my, uh, my application here since it uh, didn't stay in place last time. It did actually, it stayed in place for probably two or three years but I don't want this thing to come off. All right, I'm pretty
pretty pleased with how that came out. Um, I left more of a gap up there this time so that I could fill that gap with caulk, have a little bit of flexibility and also just more surface for that caulk to adhere to the bottom of the steel box. And again, this stuff, it goes on white. This is going to set up nice and clear. Uh, so uh, I'm going to share the STL for this like I do all the designs that I review on this channel. So if you've got the same issue going on outside your house, you should be able to fix it up with one of these TPU rings. Um, and let's go take a look at the design for this and see if there's any features of it that I missed. All right, and here is the design for this. And you can see the design does wrap all the way around the, uh, the pipe. When I designed this, I wasn't sure how much I was going to need for clearance in the back. So rather than try and design that as part of this and having um, a whole bunch of retractions and bridges across here, uh, I just left it as a full ring. Uh, that also means it's probably more valuable to you guys to use on uh, conduit coming up into a meter inlet that's not right up against a house. Uh, I printed this, uh, obviously the full ring, and then I trimmed it down with a set of tin snips uh, just to, to cut the back out. Uh, also, because this is TPU, that means that you've got some flexibility as far as what size pipe you could use this on. Uh, my conduit is three and a half inches. That is the, uh, the trade size of the conduit, which means the outside diameter is right about four inches. Um, I think you could probably use this on three inch conduit as well as four inch conduit. Again, assuming you need a gap in the back because it's TPU, it's gonna, it's gonna flex and fit a bit against a pipe that is a slightly larger diameter or a slightly smaller diameter. Um, on a smaller diameter, it probably is gonna try and spring back a little bit. So you do definitely wanna make sure you clamp this guy into position. So as you can see at the top, we have that nice deep groove that we fill with caulk um, just to get extra adhesion inside there. Uh, and also these grooves on the inside were also added uh, both to help this guy flex around the, the, uh, the outside diameter of the pipe, uh, but also give you just, you know, more room for uh, adhes adhesive in here, uh, whether it be caulk or shugu, whatever you choose to, uh, to use. Uh, the bottom with the relieved edge, uh, that, that is the bottom. Don't get confused. That's not the, uh, that's not the top. That's also why there are, uh, these, these cutouts, uh, go all the way down through so that any water trapped up here, uh, potentially, uh, can drain through. So again, this is the top. You're going to want to print this edge against the bed. This is a bevel here, not a rounded edge. So this should print without any supports and TPU tends to stick really well. So even though the part is relatively large in comparison to the contact area to the print bed, which is just this ring here. I don't think this guy is going anywhere. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope at least one person that watched this, uh, you know, is able to, uh, to use the design as is to cover up the gap between their conduit coming up out of the ground and their meter inlet. Um, if not, maybe it gave you an idea for some other project you got on the horizon. Uh, I'll post the STL for this on my site, fpfdesigns.com, just like I do every single week. Uh, that is linked down in the description below, so you don't have to actually type that guy into the browser. Uh, and guys, if you enjoyed the video, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, I'd ask you to hit the like button. I don't know that it does anything, but subscribing to the channel really demonstrates to other folks, you know, that you're interested in the content that I'm producing, and it's probably going to show it to more people on YouTube. And if you've got a friend that's gotten into 3D printing, um, and they're just printing benches and, you know, other stuff that collects dust on a shelf, share the channel with them. Uh, we do a new functional print every single week. It's either a design of my own around the house, outside in the shop, um, or a guest design uh, that improves something, uh, fixes something, uh, or just generally improves the quality of life. Guys, if you do hit that subscribe button, I will see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.